Hey, what's up, guys? This is Andrew Smirsek with Combat Training. I'm once again with Evan of Radio Made Easy, and we are going to be uh, talking more about the uh, the handy talkies and the capabilities and how you can use it. I'll let Evan take it from here. Yeah, so I was talking to Andrew. You know, when you see this radio, maybe you see um, this attached to it. You think about like this is a walkie-talkie. That's your first thought. Is like that's how I'm going to use this. I'm going to carry it around, maybe in a pouch or in a pocket. And I'm going to talk on it like this, right? And that certainly is a valid way of using it. But there's a lot of other ways to use this radio that I thought I might outline for you that you may not have considered. So um, I'll kind of map it out here. So I think the first one is completely valid. So if we're talking about um, the number one kind of most common way to use a radio like this, it's going to be kind of handheld. So um, think of that as I'm, I'm here, there's me, and I've got the radio right up to my face, right? Like it's, uh, it's right here. I'm holding it. How beautiful. Um, that, that's perfectly reasonable, but that's not where it ends, right? So let's say uh, one we talked about in another video is your plate carrier. So let's think about number two is um, we'll call it kind of the tactical setup. So what that's going to look like instead is your, you know, you have your, your chest rig or your plate carrier and you're going to have the radio in a pouch. Uh, what do you need to accomplish that? Well, you're going to need some kind of way to use that radio. Let's not forget that you're very happy and you have arms. Um, <laughs> um, how am I going to talk to that radio? Well, I need some kind of either ear pro that connects to the radio with a wire with a push to talk which which is an option or uh, we talked about having a speaker mic that you could mount you know on your shoulder from the radio and then um, a little earpiece that kind of goes into your ear so you got lots of options Can you show a, those real quick or are they out so? yeah i got them here so um you know kind of using a, a wearable antenna instead of the pokey kind this is real flexible and more like a piece of paracord so you would want to use that in that situation and then we'll use this in a minute here's a push to talk that you'd connect to the radio to connect to your peltors okay so when you're wearing the electronic earphone it has a microphone built in right and if you don't have that um, most guys who have night vision already have that right so. and that's definitely the way to go but if you're on a budget um, something more like this where you mount this to your shoulder and this goes in your ear um, that's certainly a valid way to use this this is also very valuable without ear pro if you're patrolling or something like that and now what's that one called um this is a speaker mic with an acoustic ear tube okay so i could just wear like my you know 50 dollar walkers over that yeah you can wear anything over it or nothing over it right okay, you got cool. a lot more and you, you can do a similar setup for other radios if you're going purely like uh, we need this to work really well for hours on end. I'd probably consider something more like Peltors with, with this. Um, so kind of like um, good, better, best, right? Yeah, for so, sure. So you so, can hold the radio up to your face, but that's going to suck, but it does work. This gets it in a pouch and into your ears, and this gets it into your ear pro. Um, and this is different. probably the, the most economical, best bang for the buck right there. Yeah, right? this will get you off the ground and started. Now, this one I'm showing is for the bow thing, but we do carry it for other types of radios. And kind of like, it, went, it would probably be worth it just to have that anyways, because you're not always going to be in a tactical setting. But if you were hiking or something, this would be... Yeah, uh, and you don't have to use have. it with the ear tube either, so it'll blast the audio loud and clear out of this if you're using it without the tube. Um, which might be handy or if, even if you're in the car, you know, you might want to have this up to your mouth So mm -hmm. lots of options. So speaking of the car, um, let's talk about that. So how would you use this radio? Um, in a car or a truck, let's let's call that situation number three is a vehicle and just to be clear that does work with um, That we're talking all the handy talkies. You got the other one or So, so these, all of these guys. Yep. Um, so if we're in a vehicle, let's see how badly I can draw a truck here. 
<laughs> I told Evan, he was like, you, you draw a lot similar to me. He's like, oh, I'm bad. I was like, oh, thanks. <laughs> so if you're in a vehicle, um, one of the main problems with using this kind of antenna is this is a big metal cage and radio frequencies don't like to go out or into metal cages. So what are you going to do about that? Well, you're going to need to mount your antenna on the outside of the vehicle. So you're going to need, um, we carry a magnetic antenna base that allows you to screw this off and attach it to the top of your vehicle. And you're going to get a piece of um, wire that you would attach to the radio. So now you've got your transmit and receive is happening outside the radio and um, outside the vehicle and your radio is safely inside the car. This is going to be absolutely essential to have any success in a vehicle. You have the added benefit of this nice big metal ground plane, which means when frequencies come in, they kind of catch a little easier um, compared to without that, you just have open air. Um, so this actually, you're going to have better signals than even any of these applications. Oh, that's right, I know that. So uh, another option uh, is... Real quick, could I just roll down my window? You could, yep. So maybe uh, if we're talking good, better, best, I think good is uh, maybe roll down your window and stick the antenna out while you're talking. <laughs> Imagine doing that yeah. while you're driving. Yeah, I don't want to do that while you're driving. Um, <laughs> better would be this situation using our magnetic antenna mount with your stock antenna mm -hmm. and i think the best is a permanent install right like a permanently mounted antenna it's not on a magnet it's nice and grounded um you know that would be the best okay um, so let's talk about another we'll kind of move number four down here is home or base station so if you got i can probably draw this pretty good yeah Hell yeah um so if you're working out of a building of some kind, a structure of some kind, if it has a metal roof, um, you're going to have the exact same problem, probably even worse than a vehicle, is radio waves are not going to make it in. They're going to bounce right off of this roof, and you're not going to have any luck just holding the radio in your living room. Uh -huh. um, so what that means is you're going to have to go outside where it's raining, right? And that sucks. So if you want to talk from in here, on your little radio with your arm. Um, <laughs> how do you accomplish that? So you got a couple options. We sell a field expedient kit that includes this called a window jumper. So this actually allows you to close the window over this wire instead of having to run a big thick wire through a hole. Um, if you're a renter or you're at a hotel or you're at an apartment, that you're not allowed to make modifications, this is a great option. Or if you're traveling, um, a great option to get your wire outside the house. Um, so you can use the window jumper and then maybe a tree and hang, hang an antenna up in this tree with your wire to both sides, right? So you got that option. That gets your signal out of the house. Um, that would be the good, maybe better is um, permanently mounting something, right? So you can actually hard line to a real antenna. And best will be get a mast up on your house with an antenna at the highest possible point. If you have a chimney, um, there's a lot of ways to mount to chimneys. Um, you've probably seen like satellite dish mounts. You can use those. Um, people even clamp to the vent pipe for your plumbing. So like all, all your plumbing vents up to the roof and you'll have two inch PVC often coming out of the roof, you know, six to eight inches on a little boot. Um, you can actually mount a mast to that with U-bolts and uh, put your antenna on there. So lots of options, but that would be kind of best for home. So a permanent option, right? Yep. And so you got those four kind of situations I I'm think I'm sorry can you break down break down this one again because I'm like honestly I'm kind of like I was thinking too much about trying to process everything yeah so um, this primarily is like you're stationary you're in a structure of some kind so mm -hmm. the challenge of this one is the, the structure there. doesn't allow me to get my antenna to where it can receive or transmit well so you got to get out to a tree or an antenna mast or something 
so that your signal gets out. So you got options for that. All of these options work for handheld radios and for, well, not all of them will work for mobile. Maybe starting is kind of a gray area in here that you could kind of do both of these, but mobiles are gonna work in your vehicle and in your home really well, but you can also use handhelds. Mm -hmm. um, and that's kind of the spectrum of how these get used. So at the end of the day, what I'm trying to make sure you understand is this radio is not just a handheld walkie talkie. I can use it mounted to my body on a plate carrier or a chest rig. I can use it in a vehicle um, mounted on a ram mount with a speaker mic and, and talking through my vehicle to another vehicle or at home on the kitchen counter at the kitchen table, on my nightstand, I can have a solution for this radio. All those places just requires different equipment, different cables, different deployments. Um, but lots of versatility, even for a cheap, low power radio, um, that, that's gonna give you a lot of versatility. Right on. Okay, so uh, Evan hooked us up with discount code uh, Combat Arc, correct? Yep. Combat and Arc. so that will expire. So take it, take advantage of it while you can. And thank you again, Evan, for breaking yes, this sir. stuff down because yeah, yeah. I, I sure as hell learned a lot. Uh, I trust you guys learned a lot. Comment any questions, uh, even if it's a question for Evan. Uh, especially follow him on uh, his, on his Instagram. Uh, YouTube, you're gonna have some videos coming out, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, hopefully, a lot more of this stuff, because this, like for me, that like really made easy, really made it a lot easier to understand. Yeah, um, I work on my drawing skills. That's pretty fucking spot on, man. <laughs> I was, uh, but yeah. All right. So, thank you guys for watching. Keep fighting communism, and remember that training saves lives.